People visiting my gallery frequently ask me how I've taken uh, pictures, so I thought I'd make a little film demonstrating how I did one. I hope you enjoy it. I'm down at Camber Sands, in fact, Jury's Gap, which is just a little bit along the coast from Camber Sands, one evening in the summer, but it's still very cold, uh, just as the sun's going down. And I'm here to photograph this shipwreck, which has been here for a good 20 years and uh, occasionally is visible at a very low tide. I've been there before and got some quite nice pictures and uh, the light was very beautiful when I was there. But uh, a huge thunderstorm um, came in from the sea and I had to run for my life pretty much. There was thunder and lightning, quite scary. So I've been a bit more careful this time and I've gone down on um, a clear evening, nice sunshine. Just getting dark, the sun's just going down. It's kind of my favorite time to shoot a lot of stuff. You get very atmospheric light, but uh, obviously you need a tripod and you're gonna be using some pretty long exposures. I'm using the tripod with things that uh, Manfrotto, who make the tripod, call snow feet. They're kind of little discs that attach, plastic discs that attach to the bottom of the tripod. But they're very effective on sand. I'm shooting on the Canon 5D Mark II, and for most of these shots I'm using a 70 to 200 lens. Um, the F4 version, which I find just as good as the F2.8, uh, but half the weight. Now to do this, I'm doing a stitch of three frames. I have the camera vertical. I'm shooting one frame of the left, then another frame of the center section of the boat, and a third frame of the right-hand section, which I'll stitch together later in Photoshop. It's getting very dark. You can see from my other video here, the um, Canon HD video camera is struggling somewhat to uh, work in this light, but uh, it's just about managing with the remnants of the day. These are all long exposures, so I'm being very careful not to touch the camera during the exposure, which is around about five to eight seconds for most of these. I then review the image on the back of the camera, looking very closely at the um, areas that are supposed to be in focus. It's practically impossible to focus in such low light. It's pretty much dark. Despite the low light, I'm using a 100 ISO to get the highest quality. So you need to be very careful about focusing and exposure and you need to check it while you're there. And eventually the uh, light becomes so dark, I'm shooting this on the Canon itself on the 5D and you can see that it's really pretty much pitch black. That's a trawler glowing in the distance there on the horizon. Now the long exposure gives you this beautiful quality of the water and surprisingly uh, bright exposure on the boat itself. As it grew darker, I um, turned around and noticed the power station at Dungeness glowing rather beautifully and the uh, stars in the sky coming out, so I took a few frames of that. But really, I think I've got the main shot, so um, I'm headed off home. And this too is shot on the cannon, and uh, to the naked eye, it's dark. You couldn't really see me at all. So that star in the sky, and that's how dark it is and how well it's picking up the exposure. Back home, here's the finished off file, the three pictures stitched together, trawlers on the horizon, a few stars coming out in the sky, and this warm, eerie overhead glow of light. I hope you found this useful. Keep a look out for more films from the Purdy Gallery and take a look at our website. And if you can, come and see us in the gallery.